serving that delicious white and dark succulent turkey meat. Oh. <laughs> During celebratory feasts such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter has been a long-standing tradition since the 17th century. Uh, would one of you sweaty brutes please uh, pull my meat? Speaking of meat, this is what vegans substitute for turkey. If vegans are so anti-meat, why are they always using veggies to try to replicate, uh, meat? I think they just miss it. Yeah, I've just pictured cows. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> Welcome back to Sarah's vegan living room. Gross. Yeah. Sounds gross. So. Exactly. She'd be single if she were ugly. And you know what? You know the only reason this guy isn't eating meat is so she'll eat his. Anyway, as usual, I swallowed. <laughs> Maybe I'm being unfair. Let's give vegan turkey a try. It's so good. <laughs> Disgusting. Screw this cardboard tasting crap. I'll show you how to make a real turkey. Today I'm going to share with you my Gimal's <laughs> famous turkey recipe, which has delighted my family for years. Welcome to Cooking with Grumpy. This recipe is super easy and only requires a handful of ingredients. Got that? Good. Let's begin. Hi Mike. How are you? This is Mike and he's wearing a grumpy shirt, which you can buy in my Teespring store, link is down below. What's that? That's right, Mike. Mike has kindly agreed to cook the turkey today so I can give you directions and focus on narrating. Before we begin, preheat the oven to 350 to... Uh, Mike, you idiot! Yeah, yes, Mike. That's fine. Mike, shut up. Okay, that's fine. Just, just leave it. I'm sure whatever temperature you chose will be fine. We'll just wing it. Warning, public health notice. Before we begin, turkeys carry a lot of diseases like Salmon Illa. You don't want the turkey herpes like this one, so protect your hands with gloves. See? This guy should have listened to me. Alright, let's do this. Make sure you buy a fresh young turkey breast. Because the smooth white skin is so perky. It's so firm. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh my god! Ah. <sighs> Mind if we talk for a while? All right, let's open this sucker up. Find any knife you have lying around and remove the netting and plastic. Now oh, look at that, we got lucky. This was a gay turkey. Sweetie. Set this creamy liquid aside. It makes a great base for our gravy. Now that the turkey's naked, let's clean it. But when you live in a crappy apartment in New York City and the faucets don't work, you have to get a little creative. Ah, you gotta love that plop sound. Let's clean this guy. Make sure to get every nook and cranny. Yeah, that's that's good, Mike. Good job. We don't want any of that salmon yellow. Okay, back to the kitchen. Mike, watch out, there's a step there! Oh, damn it! Right in the kitty litter. Well, no worries. Actually, this happened once before, and to be honest, it adds a nice texture. It adds a good crunch to the turkey. Yeah, just put it back in the tin, and uh, let's go back to the kitchen. All right, here we are back in the... Ooh, we don't want that. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, good as new. All right, time to marinate this sucker. I like to use a little chocolate syrup. You know, work it in there. Yeah, like that. That's good. Some hot sauce to add a little extra kick. Okay, that's good. Good job, Mike. Next, you can't have a turkey without stuffing. Mike, we don't have any clean knives. Just... So yeah, okay, the one from the sink. That's fine. Yeah, it's... it's whatever. My Gima's stuffing is the best. So here's what you do. First, slather the bread with peanut butter. Yeah, like that. Don't be afraid to spread it liberal liberally. After which you can add jelly here, but I prefer to use tomato sauce. Yeah, beautiful. And just like Elvis liked, add bacon and banana. Uh -huh. Make sure to use the best part of the banana. Who eats this crap? If you like your stuffing a bit zestier, throw some peppers on there as well. All right, now close up the bread slices. Perfect. Now, I don't know about you, this is optional, but I absolutely hate bread crusts. If you're a complete savage with poor taste, eh, keep them on then. But I prefer to cut them off. Yeah, that's better. Let's quickly do the next one. Good! Alright, now doesn't that look like the tastiest stuffing you've ever seen? Cooking tip! Clean as you cook. This will save you a ton of time and from being overly frustrated later on. Now to stuff the bird. If your fresh, young turkey is dry and tight like mine, I suggest you use some Nuki Lube. Squirt a liberal amount on your hand and lube the inside of that turkey nice and good. Yeah, that's it. This will make it so much easier to stuff your load into it. Oh yeah. 
Good thing I got white bread. I don't think this turkey could have handled brown bread. Yellow bread might have been the best choice, though. Uh, what do you say? Uh, you're so racist. Why the man not get this jelly? All right, perfect. Now, I just want to warn you, we're going to do something a little out of the ordinary. Find some sharp pencils and pierce that turkey in several areas. This aerates the turkey. Providing holes helps marinate it with the additional toppings we're going to add. Soon after. Now, I'll take the pencils out and give them to some kid to play with. <laughs> Rather than cook a bunch of sides separately, I save time by just adding them to the turkey. Cornbread. Milk. Eggs. There you go. If you want a little extra spice, you can use bouillon cubes, but I prefer cat food because it adds a certain flavor in gravy. Mmm, yum. It's so good. A tomato is nice, but make sure it's moldy. That will kill all the bacteria and help you from getting sick, especially if you forgot to remove a turd or two from the cat box. Then finish it off with an apple and whatever cheese you like. I prefer gorgonzola and parmesan. Finally, add some salsa miso paste, and coffee grounds to counter the tryptophan. Who wants to sleep when you could be eating such a magnificent feast? Now cover up the turkey with aluminum foil and throw that bird in the oven. Turkey tends to be dry, so I prefer to cook mine medium rare. A little longer than a few minutes later. Once you achieve the desired temperature for your turkey, take it out and remove the aluminum foil. Now get ready for the biggest, most secret of spectacular cooking tip of all time that my Gima told me to never share with anyone or she'd come back from the dead and eat my brains. <laughs> Screw you, Gima. To give your turkey the perfect glaze, just add gummy worms. That's right, gummy worms. Oh, I know what you're thinking. How did I not think of this? This is making me salivate like crazy already. I can barely talk. Mm, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat this turkey. But first, put it back in the oven and melt those worms. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, let's check it out. Wow, this is, this may be the best I've ever made it. Let's, let's eat. eat. What do you think? Doesn't it look good, guys? Wow, it looks really great, Grumpy. It looks really good. Wow, you outdid yourself this time. Before we begin, let's each name one thing we're thankful for. I got nothing. Hey, wait. Where's the gravy? I can't eat the turkey without the cotton candy gravy. Oh, I forgot, guys, and the store's closed. Can we just order a pizza? Sure. I guess we're not gonna need this anymore. 